G'day, my name is Chris and I'm a service technician here at Digger and today I'll be demonstrating how to do a major service on a Digger drive unit with a Digger service kit. Picking up from the operator's manual, today we will be covering the drive units PDD to PD5. In moderate operating conditions, it is vital to carry out the first gear oil change within three months or initial 50 hours of use in, then every 500 hours or 12 months. In severe operating conditions, the first gear oil change is required after 30 hours of use and thereafter every 300 hours of use with a major strip down, inspection and rebuild. Lay the drive unit on the ground with the oil bung fill facing up. Mark a line on the hood and gearbox lining up with the centre point of the hoses. Using an 8mm Allen key, remove the bung. Rotate the unit until the oil fill hole is facing the ground and drain the oil. Reinsert the bung with thread sealant after the oil is completely drained. Remove the hood bolts with a 16mm socket or spanner then remove the hood. Continue the alignment mark to match the previous mark at the centre of the motor. Remove the motor bolts and the motor with a 16mm socket or spanner and a 17mm on the opposite side. Remove the gear set. Remove the ring gear. A hammer and chisel may be necessary. Push the locking tab down and unscrew the lock nut using a chisel and hammer. Push the shaft out and remove the tab washer. Tap out the shaft seal using a screwdriver and hammer, then remove the bearing. Remove the lower bearing. Clean and inspect the parts and return the lower bearing inside the housing. Apply Loctite around the outside of the shaft seal. Place the shaft seal in position ensuring it is level. Then tap it in with a flat metal sheet and hammer so it sets evenly. Apply grease to the inside of the shaft seal. Remove the old O-rings from the gearbox and motor and scrub them with a steel brush and wipe clean and inspect the parts. Place the housing on the shaft and using a metal plate and hammer, tap housing until the shaft is fully inserted. Reinsert the upper bearing. Place the locking tab washer go over the shaft, lining up the internal tabs. Screw the nut into place with the flat side up to approximately 125 foot-pounds. With a chisel and hammer, turn the nut recess so it lines up with the locking tabs. Lock the nut by bending the tabs into the nut's recess. Place the new O-rings in gearbox and motor. Replace the gear set. Replace the ring gear by using a bolt to help guide it into place. Fill with oil to 5mm below the top of the ring gear and allow time for it to settle to the bottom. Replace the motor and motor bolts lining up previously marked alignment lines. Guide hoses through the hood. Place the hood and hood bolts. Lining up previously marked alignment lines. Minor service for PDD to PD4 auger drives. Use this method for first and minor service of all round shaft drives. Lay the drive unit flat on the ground with the oil bung 
still facing up. Using an 8mm Allen key, remove the bung. Rotate the unit until the oil fill hole is facing the ground and drain the oil. Use a screwdriver to remove the shaft seal. Clean the area where the shaft seal sits. Apply grease to the inside of the supplied shaft seal and lock tight around the outside of the shaft seal. Insert the new shaft seal and tap in the place with a hammer, a block of wood or steel until the seal is level with the housing. Rotate the unit so the oil fill hole is at a 60 degree angle or 2 o'clock position. Add digger oil until it reaches the fill hole. Replace the bung when full.